Do you uh, have an update on uh, Benoit Pouliot? Uh, still long term. Um, shoulder injury, not day to day. And, uh, you know, he's got to see some doctors and have some tests to figure out what long term really is, but he won't play uh, for a little while for sure. Is it a possibility he's done for you? I don't want to say that because I don't want to take that away from him or from the team. So um, perhaps we can update this a little later on when we get more results. In his absence, uh, who kind of, have you thought about who moves up into his spot? Uh, we have, but I, I think we've got to let the day play out a little bit. Obviously, we've. Uh, We've added a couple of players on waivers, um, let the day play out. We've uh, sent some players back to the minors. So at about 120 when we're up in the air, we'll get a, an update of where we are as a team and then begin to uh, put some structure to lines and pairs and um, try and uh, put it all together real quick and then play tomorrow. What's this day like for you? Are you kind of in the loop or are you kind of just sitting back and waiting for them to tell you what's going on with your roster? Yeah, we've talked about um, you know, long-term goals as an organization with the coaching staff and then certainly short-term ones. Um, you know, and I have opinions on players and, and uh, what may or may not help, but uh, my job is to coach and, and our job, pardon me, uh, as coaches are to bring the, uh, the players together when we get them and, and to uh, point them in the right direction and try and get the most out of them that we can. And um, Peter's going to do everything and his staff are going to do everything they can to, to build the team and try and improve it uh, as we move forward. So today's an interesting one as a, as a coach because we tend to be a lot closer to the players than, than the managers do. We're around them all the time. And, uh, you know, whether we're in first or last, we're, we're a family and you tend to lose some of your family members. So um, at times it's hard on us as well. You've been discussing how the family's been sort of, you felt a little bit of maybe trepidation heading into the deadline. Now it's down to uh, not so much minutes, but even down to an hour or so. I mean, what's your sense of the club having a meeting and just uh, how you feel like they're feeling about all Well, we had, uh, we had this meeting planned regardless of, uh, you know, the deadline. We played four games in six nights. We're going to start another four games in six nights span with a lot of travel. So um, our players needed to come in and, and get a workout. Um, I think it's... Uh, you know, you've got in Canada, it's, it's different than when I was in San Jose. It's a little bit different because you've got TSN and Sportsnet and, and everybody talking about who's available and who's in play. And, and when you're on the inside, you just giggle. Like, I don't know where, where some of these guys get, uh, you know, the information from. But uh, it does affect the players. They walk in and, and wow, I'm in, I'm in play. And you'd like to go over and tap them and say, no, you're not. But... Uh, um, you know, you just let it go, and, and at one, we'll all be fine. We'll all be together, and uh, whoever's wearing that Oiler jersey will have to play that uh, that scrappy hard game that we played for the, the past three to give ourselves a, a chance at success. Is it in your plans to have Darnell Nurse available to play playoff hockey in the AHL? Uh, that's probably a better question for, for Peter and the management staff. Um, you know, right now, he's here with us, and, and we're going to make uh, – uh, put him in a position, uh, I believe, so that he can have some success down the stretch and gain some confidence heading into next year. Uh, will he play in the in the American League playoffs? That's that's a good question for Peter and management. Or you will play in Cracknell? Like, do you have spots for them? That you we have spots for them, and uh, they'll join our team. Um, with everything going on, going on, I haven't even had a chance to personally talk to them yet. Um, I don't know what their travel plans are or anything like that. So hopefully that happens here in the next. Uh, next hour where I can get up to date and, and actually make some contact with them. But uh, I'm guessing they're going to join our team in Buffalo and be ready to play. What do you know about them? Well, well they're both veterans. They both have played uh, a while in the league. Um, and I don't know if we want to call them journeymen, but they've been able to adapt to change uh, with different teams. Uh, they're both effort oriented players, I believe. Um, you know, Cracknell. Um, has um, gained a lot of respect in, in Vancouver. And, and also, I know people in St. Louis that really believed in him when he played there. And Adam Party's got a ton of experience. He's a bigger body, moves pucks, and can skate. So uh, we think that both of them can come in and, and contribute. And, and we get an opportunity to look at two, uh, two veteran players and evaluate uh, whether they may fit our future. What's the plan with uh, Lauren Bissouat, Todd? Do you have figuring it out? Yeah. As far as, I'm not sure exactly what you asked me. Like, Oh yeah, he'll see some time. Um, you know, we didn't move Anders to have LB come and sit on the bench, so um, he'll see some time. He'll see some time on this trip, and uh, I can't tell you what the ratio will be between uh, Cam and and LB. 
um, you know, both of their, both of both of them, their play has been uh, quite quite good. Um, LB's one game at, at the, this level, and and Cam playing 12 of the last 13 or whatever it was, he's he's been exceptional. So we don't want to take momentum away from either of them. Uh, we got to figure out what the right ratio is, but um, day by day. Jumping into the NHL is pretty tough for defensemen, but Davidson has, has done really well. He's done very well, but he, he, I think he's had a, a real good development path. But a lot of players have taken that path and haven't made it, so I think it's a reflection on his character and his ability and skill. Um, he's a fighter, and um, he's fought through um, a lot of adversity in his own personal life that made him stronger. Um, he's got a, um, a will within to, to push and to succeed. He's very coachable. His teammates like having him around. And, um, you know, right now he's our, perhaps he's our Cinderella story, which in turn uh, will put a little more pressure on him um, this time next year. Expectations will go up, and that will be, uh, you know, the time where he has to grow his game even more. That time in the minors was obviously well spent. For him. Yeah, it was. Um, there's no doubt about it. it. It's it's well documented that we believe or we have that hope for all of our young prospects that they can go there and and um, and develop. And um, you know, there's a lot of question marks when Leon and and Darnell started the season in the in the American League, but that was the hope for them to spend more than six games there. Uh, but obviously, things didn't go well, and injuries occurred, and we had to bring them up. And um, but. Um, you know the Euler model moving forward. If we if we possibly can, we'd like to over over ripen those prospects. Uh, Connor playing against Jack Eichel for the first time on Tuesday. Is that more of a? Did players kind of pay attention to that in your experience, or is that more of just a kind of? Um, I don't know if this one will be any different. Obviously, there's a lot of talk between the, or about the two of them. Um, I don't think it's going to affect either of of. The athletes that are that are playing, they're going to give uh, everything they have in the game and uh, play hard and play hard for their team. Uh, I think a lot more is going to be made out of it um, with all of the cameras and microphones than than anything. Uh, both of those players are still in the developmental stage and and trying to make their mark in in a very good league. Uh, both have done a tremendous job. They're fun to watch. The fans are, are treated to. Uh, to some some real good games by both of them, and uh, they will for a long time. Are you looking forward to maybe the opportunity of coaching both of them next uh, next fall? Well, the potential exists. They both had uh, you know very good years, and and um, you know if they are named to the team, I'd be very excited about having both of them. Is Nuge making the trip? Uh, Nuge is good question. I got to figure that one out, but he's awfully close. I think he is making the trip and uh, and going to skate from here. I'm. Um, Heading to the medical room to get an update on uh, on who's available and who isn't. But uh, Nuge won't play on the trip, but there's a good chance he'll skate.